In the previous lesson, we created a switch to open a hidden door. Now in this lesson, we need to actually create the hidden door. And I want the hidden door to be, oh, maybe this little tile here. So I'm gonna to go to my tile map. I'm just going to right click on this just to remove that tile. So what I want to do is to create a hidden door here. So a door here, so when we hit the switch, the door will actually animate up or animate down, doesn't really matter. And to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is to create in my scene, I'm going to create a static body. So static body 2D. My static body 2D, I get this same error here, but the collision shape, that's fine. Not to worry about that. I'm going to call this door. My static body will need a sprite. And then back on the door, I then need to have the collision shape 2D. Back onto my sprite. And the sprite I want is the platform. So the same as these tiles here. So I'm going to drag that and drop it onto the texture. Here it is in the uh, left top left hand corner here. I'm just going to zoom in here and just move across. I'm going to add my collision shape to this, which clearly is going to be a rectangle. And we'll make that bigger. There we go. I'm going to click on door and I'm just going to group these together using this little icon here. And I can drag that across and we're just going to pop it in over here. So I think that's just about right there. Now in order to tell the difference between this door, so to indicate to the player that there is a door and this switch is connected to the door, I'm just going to change the color of this. I'm just going to hide my collision shape 2D for a second by clicking on this little eyeball. So now we can see this. And over here on the right hand side, I'm going to click on Sprite actually. On the right hand side where I've got visibility in my inspector, we can see we've got this modulate. I'm going to click on that. And if I change the color, you can see the way the color changes for my Sprite. Let's go to maybe a, a greenish color. I think that should be okay. And I can turn back on my collision ship 2D. Now what I want to do is I want to animate this up when the switch has been hit. So to do that, I need an animation player on my door. So select door, click on to add a child node, and we need an animation player. So that one there. And in my animation player, I can click to add a new animation. New. I'm just going to call this slide up. I then add a track, which is a property track. And I'm just going to select my door and click OK. And what do I want to do with this door? I want to change its position. So click on position and click open. So here is my animation track here, and currently it's set to last one second. So the starting position is here. So if I click on the door node here, go to my transform, you can see I've got these little keys here. So I want to set this door position at zero seconds to be at this position, so I'm going to click on the key. I'm then going to move my playhead to one second. And now I want to slide this door up so it's on top of this one. It's actually going to be underneath this one. So this is the Y position. So currently we are at Y96. Now I know this block, well this block is 64 pixels by 64 pixels I believe. So if I took 64 off this, I should be left at 32. So let me just change that to 32. Okay, that looks to be the right position. So I'm at one second, I'm at the right position, so I'm going to click on the key there. So now when I go through and scrub through this, you can see the way that door animates. 
Now I want this door to be hidden underneath this tail here. So the whole door I will drag and drop until it's just above the tail map. Now you can see I get that straight line. Don't drop it on top and don't drop it there. You want to have that line there, so drop it there. And then when I animate this, I'll show you again, it actually goes underneath that tail. Okay, the only thing left to do is to add the code so that when I touch, let me just get rid of this. So when I touch the switch, the door will slide up and we can take care of that in the next lesson.